here is a boil off between the Mr. Induction, which is 1300 watts. You can get induction up to 1800 watts, so it's not the most powerful unit. And this 240 volt Princess from Saran, which is built into a motor coach. This 240 volt, 120 volt. So this you can put into a standard household plug, which is what it's plugged into right now. This thing, I need to be plugged into shore power or run my generator to use. It takes that much juice. We have timer. We're gonna start off. And before we do, I'm going to take equally sized glasses of liquid, each with a individual ice cube, and fill, fill said vessel. And just so you know, when we're doing this, this says 80 degrees at the moment, according to this thermometer, 79 now that there's some 78. And then another glass here. Got it. Okay, be dumped into the other, equally sized, each with an ice cube to make sure the water was actually cold. If we compare the temperatures of both starting, this is 77 degrees, 77. this is 77 degrees. Uh, 78, 70, it depends where you point it. Uh, but anyway, within one degree of each other, come on, oop, this is going down. You pointed at the ice cube. Oh, I was pointed at the ice cube. <laughs> so 77 degrees, 77 degrees. If you look at the surfaces, 76, 76 or 8, depending on where I push it, point it. Okay, so now we're going to start this up. Do I just hit on off? Lock. Lock. And when you're ready to do on off. On off. Uh, I'm going to turn this. Which one's the close one, Karen? This one? Okay, it's already going to be boiling. Yeah. This one. <laughs> and is this the... It's already going. Okay, we're hitting start to time. That was at 700 now. Somewhere. Okay, now we're at the full... 1,500 watts. Junkie here on this side. Is that for the front one, Karen? Yep. Okay. This is as high as it can go. We got the timer going. We're going to look for boiling. And if you look here, this is 78 degrees. This, that ice cube is disappearing. It's already 84. Just keep looking over here. 78 degrees. Hasn't really changed. This one, the ice cube is just about gone. And if you just watch the thermometer, I'll hold it still. Whoops, I just hit something different like the ice cube. <laughs> so we're up here at 92 over here, 78 degrees. Hasn't changed yet because it hadn't made it to the top of the water yet. Here the heat is coming from below. It's heating the room and the pot. Here the heat goes directly to the metal. And you can just watch it go up. Ice cube is gone we and right. Yeah. We've already got bubbles. Ice cube still exists. If the on temperature the left. is moving around, it's just because I'm pointed at different parts of the pot. 108. Let's try this other one. Oh wow, we've gone all the way up to 81. I can already see little bubblets forming at the bottom of this pot. Nothing on the other one. The difference in pots is the pot on the left is about the same size as the one on the right. The uh, one on the right is closer to the camera, that's why it looks bigger. But it's uh, a non-stick because that's what I cook with. Um, the other one is the Chris and Cherise because uh, that's what they use. 118, 85 in the other one. You still think your princess is going to win? Well, if I unplug yours, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the solution. So it's not quite two minutes yet, and I can see little bubblets forming in the uh, one, nothing in the other. 128 degrees, 88 degrees. Oh, 90, 90. wow compared to 132, yes. Almost three minutes, and I can see bubbles now rising to the top on the induction. They're tiny bubbles. 150, well, 160, around 160, 106. I think I see a tiny bubble. <laughs> I don't know. I don't see one. Maybe just one. No. No, no. no not really. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he was hopeful there. 165, 66. Mr. Induction is spanking the one princess. 11, 113. <laughs> 
we're almost starting to roll over on the induction. Remember, this thing I could run off of my battery. I could run it uh, just when I'm going down the road. It's only in a standard 120 outlet. This takes 240 volts. I need to run my generator or be plugged into 50 amp shore power to run it. I think we're officially boiling. Okay, here we're at uh, 191, 193. Here we're at 130. We're about four and a half, almost uh, five minutes gone. We're getting a real boil going now. That's a real boil. 202. 202 versus 134. Nice. So now we got the real boil. We uh, might need five to turn minutes. that down soon. <laughs> five minutes for a big rolling boil. Oh, there's steam coming off of the Ah, yes. I don't see bubbles raising to the surface yet. 141. Rocking it, 205 around. Yeah. It's gonna stay there. It's and let's see the surroundings. So here, this is 77. It's not bad, but when I get a little bit close to the edge, it's about 80. Here, it's, if anything, about the same, within a few degrees. So not that big of a difference. I you really feel a difference versus propane with the heat. You can feel the heat here, though. And particularly, you can touch the cooktop one of the industry induction just moments after you take the pot off. I wouldn't do that here. No. <laughs> uh, do we want to turn that down before it boils over? Or? No, no, we can you let can it keep going. have a sauna in here. Oh, yeah. It's And when it comes to responsiveness, this takes forever to adjust to temperature. If I change the dial, especially if I turn it up or anything like that, it's going to take a long while for it to react. Whereas this, I've been told, but I don't own this one, it's supposed to react more like gas. Yep. We could take that one down to minimal and then it will just... Instant increase. response. Just like propane. Now, what kind of controls do I have in this? It says 1300. I'm assuming that's how many watts it's using. That's the watts. You could turn over the temperature to see the temperature that you've got okay. set up. Yeah, so, you can so set it just it. toggles. It toggles up and down. Okay. So and so you can go either wattage watch, or temperature up and down. Yeah, see yeah, that's going down next to nothing? Bring it back up. So that's okay. wild that it came back that, that, uh, that quick Instant to go down to response. nothing. You do have a timer on this as well, so if you wanted to set it for uh, defaults to two minutes, but you know, if I wanted to boil something for something, I'd just leave it at that. And then it's going to shut off when it gets it'll, there? It'll turn off the whole okay. induction thing when it's done. All right, well, why don't you, let's see, is the power all the way up right now? Yeah, it's, it's, it's on low right now. No, uh, bring up the power. Hit, hit high, jump it right to the top. Yeah, hit the high button. Okay. Well, that's the timer. How do oh, I get that oh. timer mode? Um, hit cook to change the programming with cooking. Okay. okay, that was only at 700 a second ago. Now it's back up to 13. Backing up to 1300. Look at how quickly the response is. Over here, we're getting to the littlest bubblets. <laughs> Bubbles. Let's see, here we're at 170 ish. Um, this was cooled down a minute ago. It's being brought back up, so it might not be all the way up yet, but it's around 200. We're up to eight minutes. And see, we got a nice rolling bowl here. Now, if I take this down, let's see how quickly this will react. Just hit low. Just want. hit low? Hit low, we'll take it all the way down to minimal. Okay, there's minimal power. And we got what? Looks mm -hmm. pretty darn quick. Mm -hmm. and this too can be yours on Amazon Prime for just $69.99. <laughs> <laughs> Look up the price of a princess from <laughs> Saran, C-E-R-A-N. It's what they use in high-end motor coaches. I I'm don't sure know why. A few other zeros involved. I think we're starting to get a boil on the left side. We're getting on a little micro boil. So let's bring our other side back up. Let's see how much it reacts. So it's brought it down to about 190. And let's see how quickly it gets up there. Here we're at oh, 190. So we're about the same. Temp, let's see how quickly this one goes up compared to this one. That's already back to 197, 200. Okay. 
it's a much more vigorous boil on the right. Oh, finally um, getting a vigorous boil on the left. Okay, we're about 200 here. Over here we're just getting not quite 200, but we're almost there. Come on, there we go. 200. And still boiling a lot. Oh, they're starting to get a real boil. Yep, they're both really boiling. This one, the bubbles are bigger for some reason. Probably because it's just been warmer. It's got more power going into it. Yeah. So, so more than twice as much time. Yeah. When you're hungry, that seems like hours. Is the boil off officially over? Now turn them off and see how quickly the other they each side cools off. Uh, cool just it off. Yep. Shut off the printing. You could just, ours is already done. Ours is off. Okay. And I can see the red yeah. element in here. This one's already finished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one's still going. Uh-huh. Because it's a lot. Because there's a lot of heat in that element that's under there. <laughs> that's ridiculous. This looks like I mean, this is 180. This is still 197. 199. 197. That's still going up over here because it takes Where's a long to off. Yeah. So if you're trying to do any sort of precise cooking, uh, good luck. Yeah, especially if you're trying to do, you know, real fine things. That thing's just going to keep cooking. Still going. Now we could probably bring this one back to a boil and back down before that thing does. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, on. Oh, hit the lock button. First. Lock button. On. on. And then high. High. Okay. Okay, everyone must look in the mirror. Do it when we're. I think my face was cut. We're getting our portrait taken in the mirror for our little <laughs> test. So, look, yep, it's right. boiling already. Yep. And the other one. This one stopped. is completely turned off. <laughs> it's still at 192. And this one's this gone one's off and back. heating back up. It's near 200, but we're going to bring it up to a boil and bring it back down, and I'm guessing it's going to cool down before that thing does. This is completely turned off. In fact, you want to reach in there and turn off the breaker for it? Going into the uh, breakers and turning off the breaker for this so it can't get any energy at all, even though it's already off here and the light's off, just to double check. Okay, we're going to call that a boil. It's moving. Okay, so now it's, it's I'm going to hit off. Yep. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, so what the hell? Oh, the pot's not in the middle. Though. Yeah. No, I said it was moving. Wait, yeah. I noticed the handle, it's not all that warm. Yeah. When I cook on propane with this one, yeah. it gets warm. Still got bubbles going here. 187, somewhere like that. 181, three. Oh, we have the doorbell. Uh, one moment. <laughs> so the actual Get base. The center of the cooktop there. Okay, 170. This one is at 245. I mean, if you want to nudge that out of the way, I can get the middle. Oh, Jesus. It's at 480. This is at 170, so you can see why the water went down much faster on this. In just a minute, you'll be able to put your hand on top of Mr. Induction. And this, uh, I think our bubbles have stopped. Yep. So we're finally done. That's been turned off for, you'll have to find out from the little uh, readout, because I don't remember. And this we can bring up and down as much as we want. And imagine if you had a child on board and you just moved your pot out of the way, would you uh, feel good about them walking by this one, which is... That one's all the way down to 150, 140. Compared to th 400, three or 400 degrees on this one. Which has been off a lot longer. Yeah, we've brought this up to a boil and back down again. So, that's the end of our boil off between the mixture induction, 1300 watt. Remember, you can get inductions up to about 1800 watts that still plug into yeah, uh, and 120 even volt. That are if you do 240 volt, you can go even higher. And then the Princess, I don't know its rating, but it's what came standard in this bus and uh, is what you find in many of them. Uh, and that's why in my next vehicle, I'll have this.